it became obvious fairly quickly that people wanted to use Ellen Bits as part of their software stack so it can be used to manage you know their users lightning wallets accounts uh, and then each one of those wallets and accounts then has access to all of the APIs and all of these extensions so it can be pretty powerful stuff so we made the user manager extension to try and make that process a little bit easier for people um, we can generate a new user and give them a wallet and now we have a user and uh, a new wallet there as well so you can click on the new wallet and we can see here's Bob's wallet and has all the you know API info there so then you can connect to the to the wallet and you know add and take funds and so on uh, we can also add a new wallet to that if you want to to that user Bob's new wallet and now Bob should have two wallets okay cool now what makes this powerful is the API so if we go to um, API info here some instructions that's a little brief overview and user manager there um, if we go to the API info, we can use this post request here. So if I copy this, now I'm going to need a terminal window, aren't I? So if I make that available, if I paste that in there, and username Bill Wallet Name. Wallet. And there we go. We get a very simple JSON back which has everything we need to start managing our new user. So we have um, the admin, which is me, and we have an ID here, um, which is Bob's uh, uh, user ID, which you can see. Um, not Bob's. Let's refresh that. Bill. There we are. Where's Bill? There he is. There's Bill. So there's Bill's user ID. And then we have Bill's user ID here. Now we want to get Bill's wallets. So we go to get wallets and then we copy this uh, JSON here, this um, curl request. And we replace the user ID with this user ID, which you could also get from here, but we're going to get it from here because we can do it all through the terminal. I think my terminal just there we are added there we are cool so now we've got um, Bill's wallet as well so uh, this is Bill's user details and then here's Bill's wallet there is um, uh, the possibility of you adding like a password and email and stuff to that user account might be useful for you um, You can do that through the through the API uh, And then here's his wallet. So with his wallet credentials we have his admin key and uh, his uh, invoice key his name his user ID we can then use all of the the general API endpoints so get wallet details for example we can now use this copy that and it's using an API key what API key is it using uh, I think it's the invoice key let's try it so instead of my invoice key I shall replace it with my friend Bill his um, begins with F okay his invoice key there we are and then we can get back the balance as well so um, yeah with those endpoints you can fully manage users and user accounts and wallets in and bits through the terminal and there's also a GUI way of doing it here as well um, which you can pop into every now and then and delete accounts uh, if you really want to um, uh, but yeah that's it for this tutorial so uh, I hope you enjoy it I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and I'll see you again